We've just come up this deep bastard and uh, it's taken us bloody ages because this stupid twat decided to swim in with us and I refuse for her incompetence to kill a little baby ducklings. So we've been here for about 15 minutes when it should have taken five. We keep trying to get on here, pointless, might as well just wait until it's all done and we're going to open the lock and they can get out there. Mum's fault, don't blame the babies. They're just following her. They don't know any better. Just keep trying to climb on all them ledges. Just like the water rises up and you go, Mac, 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 I can't get out, what's going on? Idiot ducks. Yeah. Right, for this, I'm going to run them over. Basically, where I'll contend with on the Huddersfield Narrows. I do. So, as you can see, Krusty is having to uh, really. Really concentrate, probably in his way up here. There's just like weeds everywhere and fucking weeds and shit. Come up a fair few locks though. Um, we might have a problem when it comes to lock 24, I think it is. Apparently it's closed for repairs. People were telling us for ages and we didn't believe them. But we've seen signs recently that you need to contact a certain number, etc. etc and we might be stopped for a whole day tomorrow because we will get to that lock today definitely 100 percent it goes on like wilderness man it's like crusty said before like a couple of weeks of sunshine with a little bit of sunshine and all the fucking canals go to shit just get deep lose all the depth and Shit like that. In it, bro. It's like forest and shit as far as the uh, I can see. Stupid. Approaching Glock 21. Oh, it's just opened. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Down this old big old narrow stretch. Problem with these fucking narrow stretches before locks is. They're all well and nice, because, you know, I don't have to moor up, I can just hover. But as soon as Boydie or Ian opens the uh, paddles to let the water through, Jesus Christ, he didn't half throw me back. About two boat lengths then, I was just up here before. He opened the paddles and I shot down there, backwards. Full throttle forward, no fucking control at all. Just a passenger, surfing basically, but backwards. But we've done well today. Lovely weather again. And I will penetrate this tunnel any second with my big long boat dick. Fucking brom. It is the end of day. A million. We've moored up in a stupid place. 
uh, not the actual, the, the area is quite nice, it's just where we've actually moored up is a stupid place, right here to a lock. Um, come up, we have to wait tomorrow, got lock 24 there, did 23 locks today, that's all just on the narrows, and then we did nine on the broads and a few on the collar and head of the ship as well. Um, you have to wait until 2 o'clock for another boat to go through. They've said we can tag along with them. Um, because apparently there's something wrong with Block 24 and people are idiots. So, just sit here until 2 o'clock tomorrow. Slaithwaite. That's where we are. Slaithwaite. Um, we're still sat at the bottom of lot 24. Um, I think everyone's just a bit disheartened by the prospect that we might not be able to get through here for one. And on top of that, we're probably not going to be able to get through the tunnel um, until like Wednesday or Friday because it's short Tuesday, Thursday, I think. Um, Every other canal boat we're knocking around there is just like super positive, really happy, just like, hey, yeah, uh, hey, up, how's it going? Good day for it, and all that shit. It's just like, I just come back from a shower and just Ian and Crusty are just like, for good reason, but, you know, I mean, hopefully it'll be alright. Won't have too much trouble, but we'll strike it lucky and get through the tunnel, but. Just have to see how it goes, eh? But even if uh, even if we don't, I think we've done well to come this far, especially with Rochdale Canal, as bad as it is, and as uh, bad as everyone says it is as well. Like 90% of the people I come across are just like, oh yeah, we don't do Rochdale. Never do Rochdale, too in trouble. Uh, no. We'll see how it goes, keep it posted, see how it goes. Okay, <laughs> day a million and one. Uh, the trip is going to be officially abandoned. Um, we'll be waiting at this lock, lock 24 on the Huddersfield. Um, it looks like we'll be able to get through that lock, um, but we can't get through the Stanis Tunnel. It only operates Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's Sunday today. It's closed tomorrow for repairs, closed Tuesday. Fully booked Wednesday, close Thursday, but fully booked Friday. No go for us, can't do it, we haven't got the time. Uh, so we're going to chuck the boat up to the end of the tunnel in a little town called Marsden, leave it there, get the train home to my car, come back with my car, get all the stuff off the boat, have to come back and get the boat another time. Fucking well annoying. Tried, we were gunning for it. There's nothing we can do now. Shit. It's going through the dreaded lock 24, and as you can see, it is very fucking tight. Boat and news flash. Uh, it's about half two. We're on lock 33. Uh, we're going to push to lock 42, which is right outside the tunnel. Um, one of the CRT guys working that lock um, said it might be worth mooring the boat overnight at the start of the tunnel and giving the tunnel people a ring first thing in the morning. He says the reckons, he, he reckons there's only one boat booked to go through tomorrow, which leaves two free slots. Hopefully we can be one of them. We're just going to press on today, get to the tunnel. If we can't get through, then we just have to quit the trip. If we can get through, brilliant, be really good. The weather is absolutely scorching. I'm a bit shaded in this lock at the moment. It's got to be pushing probably 30 degrees. It's so hot. And I'm standing on an engine as well, which is also really hot. So that's good. Uh, 
feeling a little bit more optimistic now, so we'll see how it goes. What's the crack, Kev? Potential tunnel tomorrow. Explain. Basically, we're going to ask a guy about a thing and we're going to do a thing. Or we might not do What's the crack, Ian? Potential tunnel tomorrow. Explain. <coughs> If we get there early enough, there might be a space for us. If there's not a space for us, we're fucked. That's how I explain shit. How small that crisp is? Shut up. Have a tiny crisp? No. Really tiny. Have a sandwich. Made sandwiches. I'll have a sandwich. Sandwich. Way. Have a cup of tea. Way. The end. Dear, dear, dear Smother Boating fans, what a to do. Here we are, Stanage Tunnel. Stanage Tunnel. And if you look there, it was that terrifying abyss. That is the Stanage Tunnel. It took 17 years to build this, by the way. Very impressive. 1794 to 1811. All done by hand. Had to be legged through boats, 5.2 kilometres long, and this is as close as we're going to get to it. No bookings available for Monday. Wednesday is fully booked. Friday, fully booked. So here, our journey ends. I'm afraid. Very disappointing. Basically long and short of it is we can't get through the tunnel. So we're packing up and going home. This is indeed the end. Um, Proper got in there, I thought we might actually do it. But again the uh, Sarpenna ring has de defeated us. Not really a lot we can do. Um, I'm sure Chris will go through all the plans and everything with you. But as it stands, it's my piece. And I quit. I'm done. I'm not doing boating anymore. Every time I go, it's more trouble than it's worth. So, I consider this my last boating experience. Got to put on a 
the sugar instead. Thumbs up. Right, it's the end of the trip. We couldn't get through the tunnel because of reasons which are all bullshit. CRT basically can't be arsed with a bunch of young yobbles like us, basically. Despite them saying that they had no one to take us through the tunnel, um, we've got several trip boats coming this way um, today for some reason. And I quite blatantly saw about a dozen blokes in CRT shirts just walking this way past the boat, holding hands, kissing each other. <laughs> but, um, met some interesting people on the way. It's also an interesting thing. We met some helpful people. Some not helpful people. Yeah, some helpful and not helpful people. The helpful people who were actually helpful weren't sure if they were being helpful, and then the people that were damn sure they were being helpful were not helpful at all. Told us a pack of fibs. But, no, I, I would say it was. Uh, on the trip for it kind of wasn't. It was hard work. It was fucking hard work. I got the ships. He just got the giggles. He was on everything. Yeah, he was on everything. Should we have a look at Ian's leg? <clears throat> Show us your leg Ian. Infection. It's mine. It's getting better. <laughs> it is getting better. It doesn't hurt anymore. Solid chap, this one. Yeah. We usually clap at this point and say, well done, everybody. Yeah. But well, just not. We have lots of help. We have loads of help. Everybody puts me going up with that. And there are lots of people going down with that. There's lots of settled. And there are like five or six people on this boat. We have people. They have little girls. <laughs> 